To manage prices for your books in iTunes Connect Apple Books, go to the website itunesconnect.apple.com and log in. On the My Books screen, select the book that you want to work on. Let's say I want to change the price on this book. All I need to do is touch it. In the top right hand corner of this book detail screen, you see rights and pricing. Touch that. Top right hand corner of this page, edit countries, regions and pricing. Touch that. One important thing to note, the rule of this game is whatever physical list price you put, Apple will give you freedom to select a Apple Books price a lot lower than it. So the main problem people have is they can't choose the Apple Books price that they want because they're limited by the Apple system. We'll get to that shortly. On this page is where we get to do the work and that will take us to a secondary page where we finalize the price. Go to base currency. This is very arbitrary. It's just the currency you prefer working in. Um, let's say I prefer working in GBP, British pounds, because I'm not happy with the British pounds price for this product. The next thing is quite important to note, the physical list price. Again, it's just the price you want to work off. This price will dictate what the Apple system dictates to you. So, for example, if you put a low price in here, the Apple system will say that you need to select a very low price for your book. If you put a high price, it will give you a medium price and lower option for your book. Let's just say 27.50. And the suggested Apple Books price from me is $9.99. That's what I'm aiming for. So what remains is to select the start date I want to go from today and the end date. If it's not a special offer period, then select no end date. So that'll be permanent until changed in the future. Here you can select which countries you want to apply the changes to. I'm going to select United Kingdom. Because as I say, in the United States, if you've already got something at uh, $9.99, you can only go lower than that. But what you'll find is UK is a little bit underrepresented in value on the pricing. So continue. Now, interestingly enough, because I've given it a $27.50 physical book price, Apple isn't recommending me or enabling me to go from tier 20 all the way down to free. There are prices higher than that. And what I'll do is show you how to get to those prices just before we finalize it. So let's go back. Just for example, you want to get the price very, very high. And let's say you put 30. And let's say you want to put 10.99 as your price go down. We've checked that. We've got the dates already there because we just went back, continue. Now Apple is allowing us to go to tier 21, one tier further, because we stated that the physical book price was higher. So you can see it directly correlates to what Apple enables you to choose for the electronic book price. So I'm going to go for, let's see, 7.99. And to put the price in here and then I would press confirm and that will be published. So now we're taken back to the pricing page it's just updating everything live completed changes have been saved and we can see that the United Kingdom the existing price is 749 British pounds and it's changing on today's date the 25th to 799. So that's great, that's done and dusted. Press done and that will take you back to your books page. Hope that's useful. Any other questions, just let me know. Post them below and thanks for watching.